What's up guys? It's your boy Steve G. I'm playing multi-team deathmatch or this might be regular team deathmatch on carrier. Uh so let me tell you what I got. So for the primary I got the PDW57. I got the uh well whatever it's called for the red dot sight, I forget what it's called, but the red dot sight. I put that on this gun so I can get headshots. I'm trying to complete some challenges with this gun, rank this gun up a little bit so I can get uh, so I can get rapid fire. But uh, right now I'm using the, the the fast mag, which is quick reload, and uh, oh yeah, it's called the reflex sight. And uh, for the perks, I got hardline toughness, engineer, so I can see the enemy enemy equipment. I got a simtex and a concussion. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the freaking issues that the PS3 has been going through for the past ever since this game came out I've been having a lot of issues like for example uh, when you try to get in the game and you have like the maximum number of players for the game it still says need more play need more players to balance teams and it doesn't get into a game I know a lot of you probably have been having that issue and uh, what else uh, migration to host mid game uh, lag of course uh, the game freezing right before you're about to get into a game uh, and I just saw a new one where the game was uh, I, I would play a game and I plan to use that game in some of my videos I would go to theater mode and the game wasn't there and then it's like not, it hasn't been there for since I don't know when earlier today but they did release a patch patch 103 uh, I don't know if you, I guess you would have to, like, maybe log out of multiplayer or something to get it, but my game froze, so I had to restart my, my system, and I had this patch waiting to upload, so patch 103 is, uh, I went looking online to see exactly what it did, and uh, here's a list of it for you, um, one, it improves matchmaking, uh, that's just making sure you can find and connect to a game a lot faster and I think that might hopefully that addresses the issue with the you know need more players to balance teams when you have a full full set of players uh, let's see um, oh they improved the host uh, selection so that there wouldn't be multiple host migrations during the game so that's good uh, improve party system um, to keep your party from getting disbanded uh, Disables the ability to join private match combat training and theater lobbies when searching for player match games. You know, I did realize when I was, uh, sometimes when I would go into a league game and then I will exit out the lobby and then I try to go into a public game, it'll shoot me back into a lobby for the league game without me choosing that. So maybe that addressed that issue. Uh, let's see, server side and game side changes to decrease the amount of failed film uploads. Uh... Let's see, weekly and monthly leaderboards will now track all kills, deaths, and assists properly. So I guess they were not attracting that properly before. All-time leaderboards were not affected by this. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. A prevention of combat training stats getting crossed with player match stats under rare conditions. Ah, so if you go into combat training and you get stats in there, it crossed with your player match stats in the, in the public lobbies. That's, that's that's weird. Additional fine tuning of audio levels and ranges for footsteps, gunfire, bomb plants, diffuses. I know I heard some commentators mentioning that you couldn't hear footsteps before, so maybe they addressed that issue. So now people can sound hoard better. I don't really sound hoard that much, so that wouldn't affect me. Uh, additional online security uh, optim optimization to prevent spam lists from spamming user while in game. All right, so this is the list that I got. I actually, I got this list from uh, Europe the Europe uh, forum I don't know if they uh, they released the patch notes for the US yet but yeah I've been noticing a, a lot of freaking a lot of problems man hopefully this addresses some of them I have actually I have played a couple games since this patch came out and uh, I still had a migration to host and before I got into the game it still said need more players to balance teams but it didn't like hang around for a long time afterwards like yesterday I wasn't even able to get into a ground war but oh man, I guess they're they're trying to fix it. I do do have faith that Treyarch will, you know, come through and, and fix these issues. Just as long as they're being reported. I don't know 
you know, where they're going for their source of, you know, reporting these issues. But, you know, if you guys have experienced any issues, let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll include them in a the video. And uh, maybe, you know, trail guys are watching YouTube. I know they are watching the, the really big commentators like Woody's Gamer Tag, the White Boy 7th Street. You know, all those guys that, that make a lot of money doing this. So hopefully there's uh, more fixes to come because uh, I've still been having a lot of issues, especially lag issues where, you know, I'll be shooting at a guy and he'll teleport three feet ahead of himself and kill me. And it's like, I don't know if that's with my connection personally or that's just something that's in the game. But, you know, I still like the game. Don't get me wrong. It's just issues that need to be fixed. And with any big release, you know, there's going to be ish, ish, uh, issues in the game that they're going to have to patch. So I do understand that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you out. Um, download the, upload the patch 103 and see if you know it resolves any of the problems that you may have been having and uh, let me know what you think about the game in the in the comments oh don't forget to like favorite and subscribe you know i got some tutorials coming up they're coming soon but uh thanks for watching guys it's been your boy steve g i'm out bye